Hey guys, I know uh, yesterday was kind of crazy uh, with the start for the United States playing uh, Ghana. And I didn't know and I, I forgot too that they were knocked off from the last two World Cups in 2006 and 2010 uh, by Ghana. So, you know, it's kind of funny that they started off here going uh, against the same country that's knocked them off the last two World Cups and getting a job done 2-1. to one. I know I didn't start watching the game till it was... Uh, I think 73 minutes in when I got back in from working out and then when I stepped out just to do a little bit of jump rope and that's when it really got crazy when it went back and forth. I think when uh, I got back in the first time from jump roping I think Ghana had just tied it up with like 80 something minutes left but something in the back of my head told me that uh, United States was going to score again after the run they put on like four years ago and then uh, what they were really doing too the last um, uh, few months Leading up to the World Cup, the way they, I think they, I forgot they had a, uh, I think they had a long winning streak too at one point, uh, a few months back, like I say, gearing up and qualifying for the World Cup. So, it's kind of fitting that they were uh, able to score too, I think, with, uh, 80 something minutes left in the game. And on top of that, the first time the United States uh, uh, substitute has scored in the World Cup. Isn't that something? So uh, it's a good run. I don't know that much about soccer, but uh, I know I know when it comes to that the point thing of winning, uh, three points is better than uh, I think. If I'm not mistaken, if it's tied, it's one point. So that's a uh, huge too for the United States. So great way to kick off the World Cup for the U.S. I know I'll be repping our, uh, my country like crazy. I know I was watching it like crazy four years ago too, because uh, it was so exciting too. But um, now that you're not on the team, that uh, now if you watch the last two World Cups, should be a lot of momentum for the United States. So we just want to see how this is all going to play out for the rest of the World Cup. So I just wanted to uh, show my support for my country. I'll talk to you guys later.